John Cleese, a world-renowned British funny man known for Monty Python and Forty Towers. But how well do you know him? Here are five facts you may not know. John Cleese has been very unlucky with love. John has been divorced three times and is now on his fourth wife, Jennifer Wade. He married his first wife, Connie Booth, in 1968. She made a number of appearances in Monty Python and most famously co-wrote and starred in Faulty Towers. They divorced in 1978, one year before Cleese and Booth created the second series of Faulty Towers. John's second marriage was to American actress Barbara Trentham in 1981, lasting nine years, and then psychotherapist Alice Faye Eichelberger from 1992 until 2008. Cleese attributes the need to continue working through his 80s to his three costly divorces, and his last divorce cost him £12 million from the final settlement. John Cleese was influenced by The Goon Show. As a teenager, John enjoyed the popular BBC radio comedy show starring Peter Sellers, Spike Milligan and Harry Seacombe. With 250 total episodes, almost all were written by Spike. In 1969, six months before the premiere of Python's Flying Circus, Spike's new sketch show Q5 hit British telly. But upon watching, John Cleese was dismayed at the show's brilliance, and Cleese recalled in his memoir So Anyway that after watching the debut episode, he phoned fellow Python Terry Jones to share his astonishment at how similar it was to what they planned for Flying Circus. Of course, Q5 didn't stop Monty Python's success, nor were the Pythons resentful that Milligan had created a show so similar to their own, and Spike would make a welcome cameo in in Monty Python's Life of Brian ten years later. The character Basil Fawlty was based on a real hotel manager. John Cleese and the other Pythons encountered manager Donald Sinclair when they stayed at Glen Eagles Hotel for three weeks in Torquay in 1970. Donald's rude and bizarre behaviour gave John the idea to create his legendary character for Fawlty Towers. Donald was said to be embarrassed by the show, but his daughter later remarked that like Basil, her father was a snob who hated looking after guests. You know something? You disgust me. And in a sit-down interview with Michael Parkinson, Cleese claimed that the only real difference between Donald and Basil was that Donald was a small man with a large wife. Cleese turned down a peerage in 1999. John was offered to be a lord, but Cleese said he declined because he would be obliged to attend Parliament and didn't want to live in England, saying the winters were too cold. John now lives on the small island of Nevis in the Caribbean and said that he stopped living in Britain years ago because he was fed up with the lying UK press. John Cleese was voted the second best comedian of all time. The vote was conducted by British TV network Channel 4 in 2005, who asked comedians to choose their favourite comedian. Peter Cook won the poll. Cleese's other accolades include a 1988 BAFTA Film Award for Best Actor in A Fish Called Wanda, and one BAFTA Television Award in 1980 for Best Entertainment Performance in Faulty Towers. What's your favourite John Cleese role? Drop a comment. And you may also not know that John was already 6 feet tall, aged just 12. Please like, subscribe, and watch one of our other videos on British comedy. Thanks for watching and cheerio. This is an ex-parent. <laughs>